guys, Alexander here, and welcome to a video about a sp special package that I have written to facilitate your learning in probability theory and statistics. The package is titled MGF, and its main purpose is to enable you to effectively and easily use the moment generating functions and cumulant generating functions of the distributions that I have covered in the probability theory playlist in R. So let's start off. If you're installing this package for the first time on your machine, you're going to have to need to run these lines of code first. You need to install the package called DevTools and you'll need to load that library. After that, you'll have to install from GitHub this, this uh, username and this package's um, name and that will install that will install that package, the package MGF, from my GitHub to your computer. And then you need to load the, the library for the moment generating functions. So this package has three functions available to you, MGF, CGF, and MGF Evaluator. MGF returns the moment generating function of the distributions that were covered in the probability theory playlist. CGF returns the cumulant generating functions and MGF Evaluator uh, allows you to take the derivatives of the moment generating function and cumulant generating function of a specified distribution with the parameters for that distribution specified as well. Now, if you need more help on these functions, you can just simply run these lines of code and then you'll see uh, I have written a page here for the description, the usage and the arguments that they take. So both MGF and CGF only take one parameter called distribution and can be one of the following nine distributions from Bernoulli, binomial, geometric, negative binomial, Poisson, exponential, gamma, normal or chi-square. Okay, the other function MGF evaluator, it has quite a few parameters but you don't need to specify anyone except the distribution to start off with because the others have default values that are already coded to make life easier for you. So it has multiple parameters. You can look through this list. It has the distribution, which is one of the nine distributions. It has T, which is the value of T at which the derivatives are evaluated. So the value of the derivative of T that we evaluate the derivative of the moment generating functions at. You can also specify the order of the moment that you're interested in, one for the first order, two for the second order, and so on. Mu is the mean of the normal distribution, if you are interested in using the normal distribution. By default, um, mu and sigma are set to zero and one, which means the default normal is the standard normal distribution. N is the number of trials for the binomial distribution by default. Its value is 10. P is the success probability for Bernoulli geometric negative binomial and binomial distributions, and its default value is 0 0.5, so the flip of a fair coin. R is for the number of successes for the negative binomial distribution, and the default value is 5. And it's worth noting that the specifications of the geometric and the negative binomial distribution used here are the same ones as in the probability theory playlist. They are the number of trials until your first success. Not the number of failures, but the number of trials. Okay? And if you call this function, it will return to you the moment generating function of the distribution you're interested in. It returns also to you the formula of the derivatives with all the parameters in them. And it's not evaluated them yet, so you have an analytical formula for, for that moment of that distribution. So this is what makes this package quite unique is that you can get these analytical formulas for the nth order derivative of your moment generating function and cumulant generating function of your distribution. So these are just some example codes that you can run for yourself to see how it works. But in this, in this sheet that you can find on GitHub as well, in the script, this R script that I've uploaded on GitHub, GitHub and I will put the link in the description, you can easily find this script and you can run this code so that you can start understanding how does this package work and how can it be beneficial to you. So consider, for example, the normal distribution. I need the moment generating function of the normal distribution. And you just submit that line of code, MGF of normal. And here it returns to us as a string, the moment generating function of the normal distribution. So 
all these moment generating functions are the, exactly the same as the ones that I derived in the probability theory playlist. So this video and this package is intended to supplement your understanding of the probability theory and it's intended to do so by using R, by using programming language so you can check your answers easily and effectively. Now, you can also get the cumulant generating function, which is, is just a log of the moment generating function. And you see the log of e to the mu t plus 0 0.5 sigma squared t squared is simply going to return to you mu t plus 0 0.5 sigma squared t squared. Now, if, you, if your professor asks you to derive by hand the third moment of the normal distribution, you're going to sit there and have to do three derivatives all by yourself no one's going to give you a formula or an answer for it. You won't know the analytical formula for it. You'll know what the result should be, but let this package allows you to get the formula for that, for any normal distribution with any mean and, and uh, specified standard deviation and thus variance. So you can easily calculate the formulas for the moments of the normal distribution or any of the nine distributions available in this package so far. So let me submit these three lines of code. And let's maximize our view of the console. So you can see the MGF evaluator for the distribution being normal with a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 15. It's, it returns to us all of these lines of code. So the first line is the moment generating function. So it always will tell you the moment generating function of the distribution that you are looking at. Then it will give you the formula for the order of the moment by default if you don't specify the order it's going to be the first order of the moment and the first order of the moment is your expected value which is your mean for the normal distribution which is a hundred so this is the correspondence here this second first order centralized moment is also the same as the expected value and it's also a hundred so where things start getting interesting is the second order moment the third ordered moment so the second order moment is always equal to the expected value of x squared. So it's the expected value of x squared, where x is distributed normally with mean 100 and variance of 15 squared. So this is our second, second moment, it's the expected value of x squared. The second centralized moment is the equal to the expected value of x minus the expected value of x squared. And that's equal to sigma squared, which is equal to the variance of x. And since we're dealing with a normal distribution with the variance of 15 squared, that's going to be 225. And we see that it is its value. So this MGF evaluator function allows you to easily calculate the nth order moments of any distribution from the probability theory playlist. And it allows you to calculate the value of their moments and it also gives you the formula for those moments. Now, it is true that this formula can be difficult to, to uh, analyze or so, but as long as you can be patient, you can easily rewrite it into the form as it needs to be. So for example, this second moment is e to the mu t plus 0 0.5 sigma squared t squared multiplied by mu plus 0 0.5 sigma squared 2t, and we see there are two of those terms, so we can just square this, and this 0 0.5 and the 2, they multiply out to be 1, and then we need to add the second exponent is e to the mu t plus 0 0.5 sigma squared t squared times 0 0.5 sigma squared times 2, which 0 0.5 times 2, that's going to be 1, so sigma squared. So if you Simplify this and factorize. You find this is the second the formula for the second moment of the normal distribution. So you can see it's much easier to just look at this formula and then go and rewrite it, rewrite it based off of this instead of having to do the derivatives of your own. And there, I, I'm giving you this function to allow you to check your answers for your derivatives and to further your understanding of the derivatives of moment generating functions and cumulant generating functions and how they relate to the moments and the centralized moments of the distributions.
Let's now take a look at the binomial distribution. And we're going to be looking at the first and the second moments and centralized moments for it. So let's submit the line, the code. And then we look over here. Since it's a bi, since this random variable x is distributed binomially, with n being 10 and p being a half, then we know that the mean, the expected value of x is equal to n times p. And if you don't recall this, go check the video where I derive the mean of the binomial distribution. And it's equal to 10 times 0 0.5, which is 5. And as we can see over here, the value of the first moment is indeed 5. That is equal to the expected value of x. The value of the second moment is equal to the expected value of x squared. The second centralized moment is the variance of x. This is the second order derivative of the cumulant generating function evaluated at t equals 0 and p is 10, uh, p is a half and n equals 10 and it means the variance of x is 2.5 and we know that this is equal to n p q which is also from the video where I derived the mean and variance of the binomial distribution. So it's going to be 10 times 0 0.5 squared, which is equal to 2.5. So you can see this, this allows you to easily calculate the moments for any of the specified distributions, you, up to any order that you're interested in. And it's there to help further your understanding and to help you with your assignments and with your homework. Okay? And then here are some examples that can you can run on your own. Um, for example, here you can have the Poisson distribution with a parameter lambda equal five. You can also have uh, exponential and a gamma distribution. And to note here, if you note over here, alpha is one, that means that a gamma distribution with a shape parameter alpha equals to one is the same as the exponential distribution with the same rate parameter. So let's submit those lines, this, these codes, and let's have a look. So here we can see the second moment for a Poisson distributed random variable. We know the value of the second moment is expected value of x squared. The second centralized moment is the variance of x, and if x follows the Poisson distribution, with parameter lambda equals five, then we know that its variance is going to be five. And an exponentially distributed random variable with a right parameter lambda equal to five has the mean expected value of x is equal to one over lambda, which is equal to one over five, which is 0 0.2. So we can see that over here, this is the expected value of x. If we go and look over here, we have a gamma distributed random variable and we're interested in its first order moment. The expected value for a random variable that follows the gamma distribution, if x is distributed gamma of alpha and lambda, it's going to be alpha over lambda. Since we set alpha to be one and lambda equals to five, we get that the expected value of x is 0 0.2. And indeed it is the case. So, you can see this function MGF evaluator makes it very easy for you to see the correspondence between different distributions, um, how they are linked to each other, how by changing the parameters we can see the association between an exponential and a gamma random variable. And it allows you to very easily calculate the moments and to see the moment, gener the moment generating functions of various distributions. So thank you very much for watching. This video has been made with the purpose of introducing you to this package that I've written to help make your lives easier in your uh, introductory statistics and probability theory classes. I hope that it will prove prudent to your assignments and your studies and your understanding. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Boer Commander out.